Hi, welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write a macro so that you can update a worksheet tab name. Okay, so I'm going to update this name over here. So in which uh, the name will be based upon the content of the cell, okay, which is uh, going to be this one. Uh, in my previous video, I've showed you how you can create a custom function to capture the name of the worksheet, okay? So, you will be able to find the video in, the, in my channel if you missed it. So, in the previous video, I've showed you how you can pick up the worksheet name. Uh, for example, here, January, and have that place in a cell, okay? So, here was our custom function, and this one is the variation of that function, okay? So today, in this, today's tutorial, we are going to do the opposite, okay? What we want is to type the name in cell E1, and then the name of the worksheet tab will change according to what we type in E1, okay? And we will accomplish this by using a macro, okay? Now, before we do that, there are a few things that I want to mention, which is, uh, which is this one, okay? Uh, we cannot use these characters in the name of our worksheet, okay? Uh, Excel <coughs> simply doesn't allow it, all right? So let's come back to the January work worksheet. And we want to open up the Visual Basic Editor. And uh, up here, over here, this area is the function uh, that we have created for the previous uh, tutorial. So the codes for today's a mission, okay, or task is the ones below here, okay? So let me uh, walk you through it, okay? Remember that um, we have certain characters that we cannot use. So the first line here is to allow our macro to continue when we have that error, okay? Okay, um, so here is how we write our code. Um, for each WS, which is a shorthand for worksheet, Okay, so we are creating a, a little variable up here. So this means that for each worksheet in this collection of worksheets and in this workbook, okay? So what we want is for this variable to be able to change the name of the worksheet. So inside this line over here is actually the left function from Excel. So what we what, we, what we've done is we use it, we use the built-in function in uh, Visual Basics. Okay, but notice here that is this one and five. Okay, so in this column, in this cell E1 is actually in row number one. And if you notice, it's in column number five. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and but in the visual uh, ed basic editor, it's the other way around. So it's uh, row one, column five. All right. So that's uh, in cell E1. And we want to add in the value, okay? And the num the 31 here is the is because the worksheet name has a limit of 31 characters. And in the next line, in case we have an error, we want the macro to close quietly, okay? So don't worry about the codes, you know, if you need it, just pause the video and, and write it down, copy it down. Okay, so this is our macro, and our macro is ready. Okay, so let's come back. Let's come back to the workbook. And in cell E1 over here, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put in the name January budget. Okay, a budget, and I'm going to type enter. Okay. And now let us bring back the macro. And in order for us to run the macro, you can click play over here, okay? Notice that the name down here is still January. And if I click, click play, the name changes, okay? So that, there you go. That's how this macro works, okay? But we don't want to have to come back to this visual basic, basic, basic editor all the time. So Notice here I have a red button, you would call it. So I have actually added the macro into the quick access toolbar. 
Okay, let me show you how you can edit. So you come over to the access toolbar, you go to more commands, and over here at the drop down menu, drop down list, you go to macros, and notice that this is the macro that uh, we created, and I've already added in, so you just click this one, and you will be able to edit here. And what I did was, uh, this is the macro that I added from here, and I modified it, I changed the name to change worksheet name, and I can choose, you can choose any button that you like, and it will be displayed on the quick access toolbar, okay? So this is the macro we created, okay? I add it here, just click add, and once you have it here, you will see name, names, W, O, errors here, and then you modify, add the, the color or any icon or em emoticon you want, and change the name, click OK, and then click OK. So now, let's come over to the February tab. Okay, and come over to E1. Okay, remember that you need to type in something. You need to type, let's type February um, budget. And enter. Now, click on this button and the macro will run, okay? So after when I click this, the name over down here will change. Okay, so there you have it. So that is how you can use a macro to update the name of an Excel worksheet. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next tutorial video.